Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In our today's video, we will do adding and subtracting decimals. I hope na matutunan nyo yung step-by-step -step process kung paano ba ginagawa yung pag-a-add at pag-subtract ng decimals. Without further ado, let's do this topic. So right now, we will discuss adding and subtracting decimals and mixed decimals without or with regrouping. So one important thing about this topic before natin going to is for you to review the different place values of the digits. So I have here 25.1427. So we need to review the different place value of each digit na meron tayo sa number na to. So itong two natin, this one is your ones digit. This is your tens, tenths, hundreds, thousands, Ten thousands. So, kung alam nyo na yan, I think you are ready in adding subtracting decimals. We have your example number one. I have 0 0.2468 plus 20.31. So, dito, uh, de those decimals are arranged horizontally. Ang target natin ngayon is to arrange that vertically. So, copy mo na natin yung given. You have 0... Point twenty four sixty eight, and then ang gagawin niyo dito ay copy niyo rin yung 20.31 pero paano ang arrangement? class, in adding and subtracting decimals ang kailangan niyo lang is pagtapat-tapatin yung bawat place value na magkakaparehas at the same time, i-arrange niyo rin or i-align niyo yung decimal points na meron kayo so this will become 20.31 As you can see, magka-align yung ating decimal point Kasi pag nagawa nyo i-align yung dalawang points na yan Automatic, yung digits natin are also aligned with each, with each other Okay? So add natin sila By the way, yung ibang studyante What they are doing, di ba may space dito sa part na to Nalagyan nila ng zero So lagyan natin ng zero Kasi wala naman bearing yan so, add natin, 8 plus 0 is 8. Then, 6 plus 0 is 6. 4 plus 1 is 5. 2 plus 3 is also 5. And then, kung saan nakatapat yung ating decimal point, dun yung nalagay yung decimal point ng sagot nyo. Then, 0 plus 0 is 0. And then, bring down 2. So, the correct answer for item number 1 is 20.5568. That is the correct answer for number 1. Let's continue. We have example number two, in which I have tried to give you three decimals para mas lalo kayo mahasa in adding decimals. So we have 4.041. Then we have 8.6. So magkatapat yung 0 at saka 6. Kasi pare silang tens. And then we have 510. 510. Point zero four two. So mapansin nyo may space dito, di ba? You can put zero there, pero pwede rin yung hindi. So try natin na walang zero. Okay? And then plus. Okay, tingnan natin na. 1 plus 2. That is 3. And then, 4 plus 4, that will give you 8. So, not 0 plus 6 plus 0, that will give you 6. And then, put here a decimal point. And then, 4 plus 8 plus 0, that will give you 12. So, lagyan natin dito yung 2, pero carry 1 tayo dito. Okay? And then, 1 plus 1, that is 2. Then, copy natin yung 5 or bring down 5. The correct answer for this given is... 522.683 Ganyan na mag-add ng decimals Again, i-align nyo lang yung ating decimal places Dapat yung bawat digits na may pare-pares ng decimal places or place value ay kailangan nakalign sila At the same time, yung de point, decimal point ng inyong decimals kailangan magkakapantay-pantay din para maging tamang inyong sagot that's how you 
add decimals.